When you can't go to the Ren Fair, bring the Ren Fair to yourself, or at least part of the experience. This week, I want to try creating Ren Fair appropriate outfits that you might wear to a fantasy themed event that are also casual enough for me to wear in my regular day to day life. Something I could still wear to the grocery store and not feel too out of place. These definitely will still be out of place for my local country bumpkin grocery store. If you're not wearing just like jeans and a t shirt, you get weird looks, but I I want to create something that is relatively casual and comfortable, but still feels like you could fit right in if you went to a Renaissance fair or a fantasy themed event. So the rules are, I will be doing this experiment project thing for five days. Oh, but Melody, that's not actually a whole week. I don't care. It's a work week. Okay, I've done a dressing fill in the blank for a week before where I tried to do seven days. The last two days were honestly like completely moot. Point has been taken. I'm just torturing myself at this point. So five days because after that, it just feels redundant. Also, the number one variable that is important for this week is that these outfits would look appropriate in a Renaissance fair setting, but the second objective, I don't actually know where I'm pointing because obviously I'm just randomly slapping a wall. The second objective with these outfits though is that they are comfortable and usable for my real world life. Something that I could hypothetically wear to the grocery store and not be a complete circus freak, but that is the second objective under it being an obviously fantasy inspired outfit. Fantasy slash fairy tale. I guess those are really my only three rules for this week. Otherwise, this is just to have fun, wear more of my clothing, try to get a little bit creative, because this is a style that I really, really enjoy, but I do have a hard time implementing it in my day-to-day -day life because it just feels quite out there. To be fair, I'm kind of doing this on easy mode a little bit. I mostly work from home. I really only have to leave the house like two days this week, but on those days that I am leaving the house, I will be around teenagers who may or may not be judging my outfits hard Partially. So let's talk about what we're doing for day one. So I almost forgot to mention to help myself come up with outfit ideas if I am just having no inspiration on any given day of this challenge. I did put together a little jar with slips of paper that have ideas written on them of different fantasy tropes and character types. This might be like the most eighth grade project I've ever made. Literally just a jar with stickers and slips of paper in it. But I think it'll be helpful because for today specifically, I didn't really have a particular idea in mind. So I did draw a piece of paper and today's slip of paper says princess. And I'm actually very glad that I drew princess for today because I did want to wear something more feminine, something more girly. And this definitely lets me lean into that. So going off of princess as my prompt, as my jumping off point, I started with this white dress as my base layer. It's not just a top. From the white dress, I then added this black tank top on top. I did leave it split open halfway down because I feel like that emphasizes is the midpoint of my natural waist a little bit more. And then I added the brown skirt. It looked really cute without the brown skirt with just like the white underneath and just being all black and white. But I did want to tone it down a little bit. It was feeling a little bit bright. And I feel like the brown and the black together makes it a little bit more cohesive. And then to accessorize, I added my dragon tear necklace that I did actually purchase at a Ren Fair back in middle school. I don't have shoes on right now, but I think I would just go with like a riding boot some comfortable boot. So it very much leans more into like the princess on her day off or Disney princess before she knows she's a princess. Their peasant outfit maybe. Again, princess is just the inspiration point, the starting point. So from there, I feel like this is a really cute kind of princessy kind of cottage core outfit. I feel like I've seen people wear stuff like this at Ren Fairs before. And I did play around with adding belts but it was feeling like a little bit too much. And for what I need to do today, I just don't think it's necessary. It was just adding extra pressure on my waist. Right now, this is pretty comfortable and that's what I'm going for. What I need to accomplish today is some foraging out in the woods. I need to do some cleaning and some chores around the apartment. And otherwise I will probably be working on my computer and mostly just around the house. Actually kind of the princess before she knows she's a princess outfit is perfect for some <laughs> house cleaning. Come my little friends as we all sing a happy little working song. Okay, I've got my basket, my pruning shears, little belt bag for pockets that this otherwise doesn't have. I am ready to go foraging.
I think I've accomplished about all I'm going to get done today, especially now that a lovely aura is creeping in. So I'm gonna call it a day and get out of this outfit and into some pajamas. But I feel like this outfit worked pretty well. I was able to get done everything that I needed to and I was relatively comfortable for the most part. You know, now that I've been in this outfit for like hours, I'm, I'm ready to get out of it. But I like this one and I think any awkwardness that I might feel if I wore this out in public is kind of tempered by just how much I like the outfit. Like I did just feel cute. I'll give this one a solid four out of five. Uh, but now it's time to get comfortable and take my migraine medication. So see you tomorrow. Okay guys, um, here's my outfit for day two. I have a friend coming over in like literally two minutes. We're just gonna do some sewing and crafts together and then run around the woods. Um, yeah, so I'm out of time to show you what I'm doing for day two. I guess I will catch you at the end and let you know how this outfit worked out. I haven't even done my hair yet, but yeah, going for kind of a, a witchy vibe today. So I didn't need the prompt jar because I already knew what I wanted to wear. Okay, catch you at the end of the day. Well, we are nearing the end of the day, but I didn't have time before my friend got here to fill you all in on my choice for day two. I've been meaning to try out this dress. I thrifted this a couple months ago on ThreadUp. Wasn't even looking for something like this, but it came up in one of my other searches that I have saved, and I was like, well, obviously I have to get that. So it's a pretty standard whimsical fairy tale type of dress with the bell sleeves and the handkerchief hem and then it also has the lace up along the front there was just too much good stuff going on with this dress to pass it by the layering possibilities are endless but i think it is good as a standalone as well especially since it is in black. Just a very witchy look. And then with my jewelry, I tried to lean into that a little bit just by wearing more rings than I usually would, layering a couple necklaces. The biggest issue I'm having with this dress is the lace-up area in the front. I ended up wearing a black lace bralette underneath. That way it kind of like blends together and I'm still covered, but what you do see is just like a peak of lace rather than like a very obvious bra poking out, but I am tempted to just add a lace insert there anyway to like permanently cover that because it's just kind of a lot or rather a little. Since I've been home today, I didn't really need to wear shoes. I would go with some riding boots. I did run around the woods with my friend for a few minutes and I just threw on my rain boots because they're useful for walking across the creek. And I did throw on my cape because it is a little bit chilly outside. Oh yeah, the cape just sends it, absolutely sends it in the fantasy direction. Are you broken? What's going on? No, you're just weird. Just adding the cape takes it up 10 notches. I've been relatively comfortable. This is a nice stretchy knit material. And actually the off the shoulder part is not as annoying as I thought it would be. It actually does not ride up that much. Like a lot of off the shoulder stuff, if you do that, then it just stays there. But this stays relatively low on the shoulder. The bell sleeve can kind of get in the way a little bit, very comfortable otherwise, but I don't like it as much as I liked yesterday's outfit. I feel like comfort wise, they're probably about the same, but this is just a little bit less me, I, I don't know. For whatever reason, I do just like this outfit slightly less. This feels more costumey to me than yesterday's outfit did. And I think that just comes down to the dress itself. This just feels like a costume dress. I'm gonna give today's outfit a three out of five. I like it, but leaning a little bit more into costume territory than I like for casual everyday outfits. So I think I'm gonna do a little bit more work in here on my computer, maybe do a little bit of sewing, and then I'm gonna call it a night and I will see you guys tomorrow for day three in which I do have to leave the house. <laughs> Welcome to day three. Today's prompt was Hobbit. Well, technically the first prompt that I drew was night, uh, but I don't really know why I wrote that down and put it in the jar because I don't really know what I would do with that. So <laughs> I drew a second time. So there were a couple different directions I could have gone with the prompt Hobbit. I did initially want to go with a dress or a skirt, so this was definitely in the running, but ultimately I knew that I wanted to go with a vest with a waistcoat because that just feels so 
quintessentially hobbity to me. And I didn't really like how the vests that I have were lining up with that dress or with other skirt options. I did ultimately land on using pants today and the corduroy would have been so fun, but I was liking the colors of my vest options with the green trousers much better. And I haven't really taken these for a spin yet. So this is what I landed on. I was also trying out this vest that I made. I like the colors with this one better, but this feels like it fits better. Like this is a better fitting vest. Oh, and of course I had to put a ring on a chain around my neck, obviously. So to me, this doesn't feel like the most Ren Faire-esque type of outfit that I could put together. Then again, the prompt for this week is Ren Faire slash fantasy inspired. It's all under the same umbrella to me. And I feel like a Hobbit inspired outfit is a good place to start if you want to dress up for the Ren Faire, but don't really feel comfortable or confident with like the really whimsical over the top stuff. It just kind of looks like I'm really leaning into like a professor or dark academia kind of look, which does overlap a lot with Hobbit fashion. After I teach today, I have to go to the grocery store and then I have to go to Lowe's and get some herbs, which is kind of perfect for being dressed like a hobbit. So I'll give you guys an update on how it all went later this evening. I have to say this outfit worked out better than I was anticipating. I was not feeling very confident about this when I first put it on, but my students were super chill about it. My older group usually is. They're a lot of fun to work with. I really only felt uncomfortable at Lowe's and the grocery store, but not super uncomfortable. I definitely got like some curious looks, but nothing was too intense or too bad. And as far as just like physical bodily comfort, this is pretty okay. The waistband of the pants is starting to feel a little bit tight, but like I have full range of motion in my legs same up here. So I'm actually gonna rate this higher than I was initially expecting to. I wanna give this a three out of five. I would rate it higher, except that it just doesn't feel super like a Ren Fair outfit. I do think it would be a good, easy to accomplish entry level type of Ren Fair outfit if you're on the fence about it or kind of pulling it together last minute. But I don't know, it just doesn't have that like, the certain je ne sais quoi. It just doesn't have the Ren Faire it factor. We have two days left of this challenge. Tomorrow's gonna be interesting because tomorrow is when I teach my group of seven and eight year olds. I adore that group as well, but they say some really out of pocket stuff. Okay, see you tomorrow. So here we are on day four. The prompt that I drew from the jar today was human slash ranger, basically meaning kind of a generic Ren Faire fantasy type of look. I did try to go with more of the ranger type of look first. Wasn't really liking what I was pulling together for that because I tried to start out with my brown faux suede leggings with this dress over top. The problem is it's kind of cold today. <laughs> like I really just want to wear a cozy sweater right now. <sighs> alas, for the video. So I tried layering this over a couple different tops with those leggings and I just wasn't feeling it. So what I ended up doing was drawing inspiration from this picture. So this isn't really reading as ranger, but I think it does feel more like a generic Renaissance fair type of outfit. What I ended up putting together is this bell sleeve top. It has the crisscross lace up detail at the front paired with my white skirt. And then over top of all of that, this is just a button front dress that I have unbuttoned from the waist down. And of course I had to tie it all together with a belt and then I'm just wearing my riding boots. I could definitely see myself wearing this to a Renaissance festival. I would go way heavier with accessories for an actual Renaissance festival, but because today I am teaching, I do wanna scale it back a little bit. I already know I'm gonna get some really off the wall comments and I do need to go to Walmart and see if they have the herbs that Lowe's did not. So this is what we're working with for day four. I will see you guys later. Okay, so it wasn't too weird with my classes tonight. Definitely got some comments. Um, one kid said, you look like you're from Ohio. I have no idea what that means. Another kid said, I look like I'm about to go fetch the milk pails <laughs> or something. And then a couple other students said, I looked like I was going to the Renaissance Festival. So that's pretty spot on. Overall, not too bad, could have gone worse. 
So after going through everything that I needed to do today, I would say this was a very successful outfit. My students' reactions were pretty funny, all positive, but they always have funny things to say. And this is a pretty comfortable outfit. It helps that when I went to Walmart, I had a coat on. It's pretty cold out today. So that covered up 90% of my outfit and I didn't have to feel weird walking around Walmart because I very much would. And then for my classes, they're kind of used to me wearing outlandish stuff from time to time so mostly they just enjoy giving me their opinions on what they think I'm wearing that day and it's always entertaining and I'm really liking this way of layering this dress because I haven't been feeling like wearing it that much lately this opens up so many more new possibilities I haven't tried yet the only thing is sleeves like this are not great for day-to-day -day life like just trying to load the dishwasher not the most practical, <laughs> but comfortable at least. So I think I will give this outfit a four out of five. I doubt that there's gonna be a five out of five outfit because five out of five would be like S tier, God tier, perfect outfit, but this would still be A tier along with the day one outfit. So that leaves one more day in this challenge. So I will see you tomorrow for that. For our fifth and final day of this challenge, I had to go with an elf-inspired costume. I mean, I couldn't do a Renaissance Fair-inspired outfits week and not do an elf costume. And it's pretty cool outside today and a little bit cold in here as well, so this long velvet green dress was perfect for the occasion. I am just working at home today, so I don't have too many constraints with what I'm wearing other than I want to be comfortable for sitting at my computer for a long stretch of time. So I knew that I wanted to use this green dress. This is just my go-to for an elf inspired look. I did try initially layering this skirt over top. I thought that this would be really cool having the lace up and the red to kind of accent off of the green but it looked weird at the hem because this skirt flares out more and then the green dress underneath was like more slim fitting and it just looked really weird so not this time. So then of course I just fell back on my go-to for this which is layering this robe over top and if I was actually going to an event I would wear this corset belt on top because that just really brings everything together and creates a waistline that I like so much more but I just want to be comfortable. I'm going to be sitting in a chair most of today. I don't love the empire silhouette that this creates without a belt but it's fine so if I were going out I would add the belt and then some riding boots but like I said I'm just at home today so I think this is a good middle ground to maintain comfort but still be dressed on theme well I think it's just about time we wrap this up for today I think this outfit served me pretty well. It was perfectly comfortable for just sitting here working at my computer. Anytime I did get up and try to move about a little bit more, I did find myself restricted by just how narrow the opening of the dress is at the bottom. <laughs> I can't really walk in my normal stride. So that's really the only limitation with this outfit, but for working at home on my computer or even sewing, it's perfectly fine. I'm not sure if I wanna give this a three out of five or a four out of five. I feel like with all the bells and whistles that I would wear with it for an actual event or Ren Faire, that would be a five out of five outfit for me. It's one of my favorites, but taking away a lot of the accessories, uh, I guess that brings it down to a four out of five because it still feels very whimsical, but I was prioritizing comfort more today. So my final thoughts on this challenge on this week as a whole, I really enjoyed this. Yeah, I just really liked these outfits this week. Everything was either a three or a four out of five for me. I think the one that I was the least sure about was my Hobbit outfit, but by the end of the day, it had really grown on me. And looking back on the footage that I've been editing, I actually like it more than I felt like I did while I was physically in it. I don't know if that makes sense, but overall, I definitely enjoyed this challenge of getting to wear my more whimsical, fun, kind of out there pieces more this week. When it comes to the days that I have to leave the house, whether it's for running errands or for teaching, I don't know that I particularly feel comfortable dressing this way for those activities, but I do want to try incorporating my fantasy outfit pieces 
more throughout the week, especially when I'm just home. But as much fun as this was, I do think I will be changing into sweatpants to go eat junk food and snuggle with my husband and watch a movie because that makes way more sense for that activity. So if you made it all the way to the end of this video, leave a sword emoji down in the comments. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me this week, literally through the whole week, actually. Subscribe if you'd like to hang out again, and I will see you next time. Au revoir. I don't speak French. What am I doing here? Hey mom, can we go to the Ren Fair? No, we have Ren Fair at home. I wish I had a pocket. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, there's a really pretty butterfly. I have a feeling this video is gonna be a lot longer than I intended it to be. <laughs>